Have you ever stopped and wondered, what was the very first cartoon ever made? Let's find out on today's episode of... Colossal Question! Animation itself might be a fairly new invention, but people have been trying to make pictures come to life for a long time. Take cave paintings, for example. Most of them show animals in sequence with their legs in different positions, clearly trying to show motion. Devices throughout history have attempted to capture the magic of motion even before the invention of film. The phenakistoscope was invented in 1832 and became the first popular animation device that could create the illusion of movement. It worked like a really fancy flipbook. A spinning cardboard disc with a series of pictures on it was attached to a handle and when spun, created a little looped animation kind of like the 1800s version of a GIF. Just two years after that, in 1834, the zoetrope was invented. <laughs> this contraption was similar to the phenakistoscope, but instead of being on a disc, the pictures are on a paper strip. The paper is wrapped around the inside of a drum, which has slits cut into the side across from each picture. The big drum is spun faster and faster, making the motion seem fluid and natural. Other doodads like the praxinoscope and the theatre optique kept pushing the technology along, and before long, the film camera was invented, and it was off to the races from there. Okay, so that's how people brought pictures to life before cartoons, but what was the very first one? Well, that honor goes to a French cartoon from 1908 called Phantasmagorie. The film is under a minute and a half long and has no sound. It's a story about a stick figure man who interacts with objects that morph and change. The very first hand-drawn animated feature film with both sound and color was Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarves in 1937. The film was a huge success and led Disney to make many more iconic animated movies. Cartoons finally found some success on TV in the 1960s when TV stations started airing them on Saturday mornings when kids could easily watch them. And from there, it was off to the races. So next time you're watching cartoons, remember to thank your cave ancestors for getting the ball rolling. And now you know that Phantasmagory is the very first cartoon. Comment below if you have a question you'd like to know the answer to. And don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of... Colossal Questions! Only on DreamWorks TV.